I would like to last speaker, Professor Naohisa Yahagi. Yahagi is a professor of medicine and the director uh, in Keio, uh, Keio University School of Medicine. Uh, he's a uh, founder and uh, one of the uh, master in ESD, and he uh, invent many devices for the ESD. And uh, currently, he uh, uh, his activities. Uh, uh, beyond Japan and reached to United States. Congratulations. Uh, his uh, topic is endoscopy resection and outcomes. Professor Yahagi, please. Thank you very much, Professor John, uh, John Funian, uh, for your kind introduction. And it is a great honor for me being here and to give a presentation regarding endoscopic resection and its outcomes. Well, uh, I had many chance to do a uh, very uh, challenging ESD procedure and uh, develop many devices, but I would like to explain how we developed uh, our new techniques and how we uh, make it possible uh, during the past 20 years. Uh, this is COI to disclose. Uh, well, when we conduct endoscopic resection, we should uh, consider two categories of conditions, namely theoretical conditions that regions possibly involve no lymph node metastasis, and the technical conditions that regions of size and location which allow unblocked resection. Well, consider, considering technical feasibility and risk for lymph node metastasis, our uh, indication criteria for endoscopic resection was mainly small uh, mucosal cancers with differentiated type, uh, less than two centimeter, until uh, late 1990s. Uh, at that time, we usually use snare-based resections such as standard EMR, cap EMR, or two-channel uh, EMR. They are basically very simple and quick and less invasive, of course, but at the same time, it's sometimes unreliable uh, caused a higher local recurrence rate. If the region size is small enough, we can easily uh, make an unblocked resection, but when the region size is getting better, it often turns to piecemeal resection. And of course, after the piecemeal resection, sometimes local recurrence occurs afterwards. That is the problem. Regarding the local recurrence rate after EMO, there are many uh, papers coming from uh, published by Japanese colleagues, and the average of the local recurrence rate after piecemeal resection was around 15 cent, uh, percent. That was not acceptable local recurrence rate for the treatment of malignant disease. That's why we started the new endoscopic resection, uh, which consisted of mucosal incision outside the target lesion and submucosal dissection below the target lesion in order to achieve reliable unbroke resection. Initially, uh, we called uh, those uh, new techniques uh, completely different, such as cutting EMR or peeling of EMR, cut and dissection EMR. But I imagine that it is necessary to call the completely, uh, completely different, and I propose to unify the name of our new technique. And finally, we decided to uh, call that technique as endoscopic submucosal dissection, ESD, in 2003. And at the same time, Dr. Gotoda, who was working at the National Cancer Center, investigated the risk factor of the early gastric cancer, uh, investigating more than 5,000 surgically treated cases at the National Cancer Center and the uh, Cancer Institute of Japan and clarify the risk factor of lymph node metastasis. And even for the larger region, uh, more than two centimeter, doesn't have so much uh, higher risk. Uh, that's why we try to uh, resect uh, those kind of relative indication uh, cases by using our new technique. 
Uh, the, by the way, I would like to show you my uh, initial ESD case, uh, case, which was really crazy stuff, uh, because this region was nearly 10 centimeter, uh, occupying uh, almost all the lesser curvature of the stomach. Uh, I did this procedure uh, more than 20 years ago. Uh, therefore, there was no specific device at all at that time. Therefore, I just used that tip of syntype snare uh, as an electrosurgical device. After injecting 20% uh, gl uh, glucose solution to the submucosal layer together with indigo carmen, uh, then I started mucosal incision just using tip of the syntype snare and conducted submucosal dissection and uh, general anesthesia. And I couldn't recognize the sick blood vessel at, at that time. Therefore, sometimes severe breathing like this uh, occurred during the procedure. But fortunately, I already developed the hemostatic forceps uh, working together with Pentax. Uh, therefore, hemostasis was easily uh, achieved like this. And of course, the water irrigation function of the endoscope was quite effective to uh, visualize the breeding point. Uh, nobody uh, would see this kind of very strange uh, scenery at that time because this was more than 20 years ago. So uh, I conducted submucosal dissection from the oral side and extending mucosal incision to the anal side step by step and uh, finally removed the entire lesion in an unbroke fashion. I spent nearly eight hours to complete this procedure at that time because I uh, didn't know how to uh, ma manage the procedure properly, but finally I could remove entire lesion in an unbroke fashion and this, this was the final result. And of course, Patient condition was quite good. Uh, this patient complained nothing about gastric pain and discharge from the hospital uh, four days after the treatment. And uh, the, this was a uh, well differentiated uh, adenocarcinoma sized nearly 10 centimeter. And surprisingly, large resection bed was completely closed within two months. That was the beauty of ESD procedure. Now we have lots of uh, fancy uh, ESD device which has injection capability. Therefore, uh, resection itself becomes uh, quite uh, easy and smooth than before. And we also developed many uh, hemostatic forceps uh, working together with industry such as Olympus, Pentax, Fuji. And by using those uh, new devices, uh, we we can remove this kind of big lesion relatively smoothly. Actually, I removed this lesion uh, within four hours, although the lesion size was mu much bigger than the previous one. And of course, we achieved the curative resection in this particular case and uh, avoided unnecessary total gastrectomy. In, uh, total gastrectomy. And even with the uh, le lesion uh, having some fibrosis, we can dissect the scarred area by using specific device such as dual knife J, and we, we can achieve the curative resection. And uh, my young colleague conducted retrospective study uh, within Tokyo area, accumulating nearly 6,000 uh, treated cases by ESD. And we found that uh, our resection was quite good, which was 94.1%, and the local recurrence rate only occurs 0.3%, which uh, only from the lateral margin positive cases. And the distant metastasis was very low, uh, which was 0.16%, only from the non-curative patient uh, who re refused the additional sur surgery. Uh, therefore, overall long-term uh, outcome of ESD was quite good. But unfortunately, still, still there was no sufficient data for relative in indication uh, cases. Uh, therefore, 
Japan Clinical Oncology Group conducted prospective study initially for the differentiated type cancer uh, for the large region, uh, more than two centimeter without uh, ulceration, and also for the uh, mucosal cancer, uh, but with ulceration, uh, three, three centimeter or less. And they achieved 99.1% unblocked resection rate, which was really good. And surprisingly, overall five-year uh, five survival rate was 97%. Uh, uh, that was really a good clinical outcome. That's why uh, those two categories uh, were uh, approved uh, for the indication of ESD. And the final challenge was the poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma adenocarcinoma because the risk for lymph node metastasis is relatively high comparing with the uh, differentiated type adenocarcinoma. Uh, then uh, they also conducted the clinical study and the, the clinical result was also excellent. They achieved 99% unblocked resection rate and the five-year survival rate was 99.3%. Uh, that's why uh, undifferentiated ca cancer less than two centimeters was also approved as an uh, indication for ESD. Well, ESD is really uh, reliable and uh, excellent technique to do endoscopic resection of early stage cancers, but still, there are some difficult conditions to do ESD, such as lesions with very large size, more than 10 centimeter, lesions located at difficult area to approach, lesions located at complicated anatomical structure, or the lesion with severe fibrosis. All those kind of situations are very difficult for ESD procedure. Uh, this is such a case. Uh, probably you can uh, recognize the very flat whitish area here. And the taken biopsy revealed well differentiated adenocarcinoma. And the difficulty of this uh, procedure uh, was that perpendicular approach when we conduct submucosal dissection, and of course, large region size makes it a little bit cumbersome. So in this particular situation, we usually use special devices uh, such as multi-bending endoscopes. Uh, by using this special endoscope, initial half was easily dissected by utilizing gravity. But uh, later half was quite challenging because uh, we ca couldn't utilize gravity. That's why we decided to use some kind of traction. Nowadays, uh, many uh, traction uh, techniques are reported uh, everywhere, and I decided to use the most simple and cheap uh, traction technique, which is string clip uh, uh, traction technique. I anchored the end clip together with the string at the inner side and uh, bring up the remaining submucosal tissue. As a result, remaining uh, submucosal dissection becomes quite uh, smooth. Although the region size was nearly 10 centimeter, I could finish this procedure within one hour. And this is another example of difficult situation. It looks tiny lesion located just beside the pyloric ring, but the reality was completely different. Uh, partially, it was already embedded to the uh, duodenal bulb. Uh, this is a little flex view within the uh, duodenal bulb. Uh, therefore, we conducted the ESD uh, using a new technique, which is the water pressure method. Uh, just giving uh, water normal saline irrigation to the incised area, we can easily open the submucosal space. As a result, we can conduct uh, smooth submucosal dissection, even with the complicated anatomical uh, structure. Uh, therefore, we could <coughs> remove this uh, lesion very smoothly. Now you can see the uh, backside of the pyloric ring from the duodenal side and the entire lesion was uh, 
completely remove them in an unbroken fashion uh, with uh, free of cancer, free margin from the cancer. And uh, this is the most challenging case uh, because this patient underwent uh, the distal gastrectomy more than 10 years ago uh, uh, because of the anterior uh, early gastric cancer. And the, he developed secondary cancer at the gastric cardia here. But you can see the suture, uh, suture line and uh, the lesion was located just above the suture line. Uh, therefore, we found the surgical staples uh, below the lesion. Uh, by using the water pressure method, I carefully opened the submucosal space and removed the surgical staples one by one. And finally, we achieved the uh, complete unbroken resection. Well, ESD has now uh, become safe and reliable, and we, of course, we should uh, pay attention to the patient benefit all the time. Well, this is my uh, conclusion. Uh, the indication for ESD uh, in early gastric cancer have been expanded due to very uh, 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 one, wonderful clinical outcomes and special endoscopes such as mud bending endoscope or bending accessory works very well to approach to the difficult area. And the barrier structure techniques and the new technique uh, which is water pressure method are very useful for managing challenging cases. Thank you very much for your kind attention.